This video is presented by the EA Creator Network. Huge thanks to EA for early access to FC24. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Tom, also known as Lasty, and welcome to episode number one of the EA Sports FC24 Road to Glory. I'm going to be your host, and we are going to go on a wonderful journey, playing Ultimate Team, grassroots style, without the use of FC points. No money spent. We're going to do this the fun way and graft it out, and we'll end up with an amazing team as the year goes on. Now, before we get stuck in, I've got a big challenge for you. Last year, we got over 20,000 likes on episode one of The Road to Glory. Can we see if we can get 25,000 likes on episode one this year? That would be amazing. Show some love on the series. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're new. This is a daily series, sometimes twice a day. And uh, I cannot wait to jump in. Should we do it? Let's jump in. So the first time you enter Ultimate Team, you're going to be met with your first uh, option, and that is to choose your starter pack. Now, I've always said in the past, Brazil or France is the way to go, and uh, I kind of stick by that. A few people have added Germany into the mix this year, but I think with the advanced SBCs in mind, there are a lot of Brazilians from a lot of leagues that could help you along that way to save you some coins in the long run. So I would recommend choosing Brazil or France. I've gone with Brazil and uh, my first packed player of the series this year is none other than 78 rated Oscar. Uh, we welcome him to the club. He actually doesn't look like too bad of a player. 78 pace, 76 shooting, 80 passing and 80 dribbling. It's not the worst. I mean, we're not aiming to keep him for very long. However, we've got to start a player. We've got to start a squad. Let's, uh, let's go through the journey of, well, the first few changes that you have to make. Uh, so, Obviously, the game initially gives you a loan that you can choose. Uh, so you just pick a player that you want to swap. I wouldn't recommend picking one of your gold players because it will get rid of them. Um, and if you don't like the selection that have popped up, you can just press the back button uh, and then head on through uh, to a different position. And if you don't like that, you can back out again and see what options you get for another position. And so on and so forth until you sort of figure out exactly... The, the right player for you. It's just a lone player. It doesn't make too much of a difference. Um, but my recommendation to you would be like, if you've done what I've done and chosen Brazil, I would recommend going for the centre-back option and taking Marquinhos as the Brazilian centre-back, um, just simply because the first few objectives are like us trying to build chemistry and stuff. So by having a player of that nation it probably it's probably going to help isn't it so uh yeah but you choose what you want you might find an attacker to be more um desirable if so you go for it enjoy it so you then get to choose your kits and you get a random selection of course uh i really like the look of this france kit and i actually really like the look of the france is it the away kit or is it the the women's kit i'm not sure but i really like the two options from the of the french kits there and we're going to go ahead and choose the psg badge um because why not, right? I quite like it. It was either that or the Italian one. I quite like that as well. But we went with PS, uh, PSG because we chose Marquinhos. And here's your club summary. We've now set up our ultimate team here on FC24. And we've got kits. We've got a, a lone player. We've got a squad of players, actually. Uh, and we also receive founder rewards. This is the start of a new generation, of course. And if you play the game before the start of November or mid-November, you will be given founder status, which I guess is sort of like the old foot founder back on uh, back on the previous game. So um, welcome to the club, or the club nickname, The Founders. That's what we are. Uh, and you get a whole bunch of stuff here. Untradeable, of course, but you get some badges, some kits, some TIFOs, and that sort of thing. You also get the FC Founders Evolution, which of course means that you can do, there's a new mode on the game called Evolutions where you can essentially evolve players. Um, so that's a good thing to get because there are some good players that you could put into that to turn them into even better players. And we'll get onto that as the episode and the episodes go on. Uh, so here is a loan pack for some returning players. 
or, or for pre-ordering, should I say. You get a Haaland. I've chosen a Vinny Jr. And then actually, I went a tactical route and chose Marta uh, from here. I know she's the lowest rated card, um, but you can get a loan for Sam Kerr in uh, the Foot Moments game mode in the store there. Uh, you can get a one game loan for her there. Uh, and I just thought Marta being a cam or a right mid could help us get a little bit of starter chemistry as well, being Brazilian. Um, and that's the sort of squad, that's the starter nation we chose, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, I've gone a little bit different there and chosen a player that I don't necessarily think will be as good, but could help us unlock an objective, which could then get us some coins or a pack, that sort of thing. Now, you might think, hey, Tom, nice pack. You got yourself a Vlahovic there and a Tapsoba. But this is just my premium gold preview pack for the day. I don't have any coins to actually buy that pack. Um... But yeah, it wasn't a bad one. Uh, like essentially a board pool for my very first preview pack. Um, I wonder how many days it will be until we get another board in a preview pack. Sometimes that can take absolutely forever. Um, so the FC founder objectives. All right, we're heading into objectives now. That's really what you want to do um, as your first port of call if you are starting a new account on a road to glory. You know, you need to figure out a way to get some coins, to get some bronze packs, silver packs, gold packs, whatever morsels of content you can get onto your account, that's exactly what you need to work on and grind. The first couple of hours are not necessarily the most exciting, but it does feel quite rewarding once you end up getting like a, a little squad together or you end up getting a 83 in a pack or something like that. You'll, you'll enjoy it. So uh, that's why I always say the road to glory style, the, the grassroots style, playing the game without the use of money and points uh, is the, the fun way to go. Now, of course, this is the ultimate edition that I'm on. Uh, so I've got 4,600 FIFA points. Um, in the past, I've never really spent those on packs or maybe very very special packs that become that are rare in the store every now and again you guys let me open one um but the idea is that we do this without the the use of money so i think what i'll end up using those um those fc points on is paid evolutions and like i said we'll get on to evolutions a little bit later um so that's a good way for me to spend those those fc points i'll put them into um into the evolutions game mode and that will save me uh that will save me some some coins in the long run which is pretty good um so you might be seeing me just going through the squad applying a uh, a contract to my manager, to my players, a little chem style here and there. It's all basically to get this squad maintenance uh, objective done. And that gives me 200, 200 coins. Like I said, you're really scraping the barrel for morsels here um, of, uh, of, of, of bits that you can use later on. But don't worry, your club will come together. Just give it time. Uh, like I said, you know, playing it Road to Glory style means that every time you get something really quite good... It feels amazing. You get such a more of a sense of uh, enjoyment out of the game, in my opinion. Uh, and that's coming from someone... I used to do a lot of sort of spending real money on the game and that sort of thing. And I feel like you just complete it a little bit too quickly. I would like this to be my daily series for the entire year. Um, and, and, and to grow the club that way and share this journey with you. So... Uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, and we will have fun along the way. And we will pack some beasts along the way as well. Because it's just it's just one of those things, right? You have to get you have to get lucky, but actually, if you just really engage with the game, um, every now and again you'll get something pretty good. I promise you, you will. You just will. Not everyone's pack luck is absolutely garbage. It, you know, you'll get some good stuff along the way. Um, I thought this little silver guy looked actually not too bad. And it turns out we can play left back as well as right back. So uh, into my starter team, he ended up going. Um, we then move on into the uh, SBC section. Get the foundations um, SBCs done. I mean, the first one and the second one are, I would say, the slightly more important ones because they, they then link back to an objective. So... By completing one, you get an objective complete, and that's going to give you a pack or something. So uh, I would recommend doing that. You're seeing the types of players that I'm putting into these. They're like the lowest rated stuff that I've got in my club. The first couple of uh, foundations SBCs don't require any chemistry or anything like that. So what I would recommend is, you know, I chose Brazil for my starter nation. Um, I would recommend trying to not put Brazilian players into that. Try and keep them for a little bit later on when you're going to need a little bit of chemistry um, 
for, as a requirement. Whereas for now, I've got a random Romanian non-rare centre mid. Well, I'm going to stick him in goal. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to get rid of him. So uh, that's what I would recommend for you guys to do as well. Uh, try and keep the players from the same nations and leagues and stuff like the main ones that you've got quite a few of. Try and save them for when you're going to need a little bit of chemistry down the line. Um, I should really be skipping these silver packs and, and bronze packs, right? No one's that bothered about seeing... Uh, Seeing him pop up in a pack. It's quite nice, I guess, uh, for the first video, though, to sort of show you roughly what the uh, the pack animation is. Uh, we get a Vlacho... Vlacho Modis, is it? Vlacho... Vlacho Dimos. Vlacho Dimos. I've always called him Vlacho Modis. I've been getting those letters mixed up, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a Prem goalkeeper there, 81 rated. Um, not too bad. You know, if we can start building a little bit of a Prem team, I'll happily use him uh, as a starter goalkeeper. One thing you'll find out about me if you are new around here is that I never really, unless I pack like a team of the year goalie or a team of the season goalie or an icon goalie or a hero goalie, anyone is that works for chemistry will kind of do for me because they're just... I've always found goalies to be not that great on, on, on Ultimate Team. So uh, I don't really care who's in there as long as they help me out with a little bit of chem. Um, so I've bought a player here and I've also bought a, a contract. I've basically bought them and then listed them again. That's part of an objective as well. Um, I'll lose a little bit on EA tax. But actually, by doing that, I've ended up earning 250 coins and a couple of bronze packs as well, right? So that was worth it. Um, this is where I'm slightly ahead of you, obviously playing a slight, you know, just the, the, the creator early access. Um, but I don't think I'm in a much better position than you if you're getting the game on, on Friday as a, 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 on the Ultimate Edition launch day. Because at the moment, there's a couple thousand things on the market because it's just create creators on the game. Um, whereas there'll be absolutely millions of things on the market when you go ahead uh, and log in. So... Uh, it will be easier for me to, you know, there's some objectives there. Buy an injury item and buy a manager. It, there, there's just not that stuff on the market for me right now. So I can't actually get to all of the objectives that I want to get done. So you'll fight, you'll, you'll absolutely like fly through that and you'll catch me up, no problem. Um, that's why I'm not too bothered about getting the videos up to you um, as early as possible uh, because I know that I can't actually get much further ahead than you are. I'm, I'm not the sort of person that's going to go ahead and try and trade my way to 100k instantly and buy a player before you lot are even on the game. It's just not going to happen. This is the everyday man road to glory. I'm n you'll find out along the way, I'm not a particularly good trader. I'm not a particularly good player of the game, but we have a lot of fun uh, and it's all about the story and the journey. So uh, I really do hope you enjoy. Um, so as I've been waffling, there's been some 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 packs being opened, some SBCs being completed. Uh, we have got, what is this, Foundations 2 complete? Yeah, lovely. And that's going to give me a premium loan player. But if I head back into the objectives, I think we get a two rare gold player pack for that one. Um, which you never know what's going to be in that because it literally cuts out. I mean, there's no minimum rating, but um, apart from 75 being gold. But you could, you could pack an Mbappe in that. You've just got to get really lucky. Uh, and, you know... Well, I mean, I can confirm that that doesn't happen to me today, but it would be nice. It would be really nice, wouldn't it? What are we going to get as a premium loan player then? Um, it turns out this is, I think this is just a tiny little bug at the moment. The, uh, the consumables popping up first and they come up as a right wing wing. RWW. I mean, whatever that is. But uh, we get ourselves a lone Callum Wilson. I'll probably end up using him. He's a goal scorer, isn't he? So it might end up being quite good. And then uh, I was really happy with this little pack pool right here. Again, for a starter road to glory, someone like Chukweze is going to be a beast. You know, 89 pace, 84 dribbling, 75 shooting, 74 passing, and uh, four star skills. A pretty poor weak foot when I had a little check, but... Um, Someone that can play on the right side and, you know, the start of uh, a, a bit of a, a Serie A thing going on, perhaps. He's going to be great. And if I can't fit him in the squad for chemistry, he'll be an awesome super sub for me for the first couple of episodes. So here's the time where I need to get the most important thing done. I think this is an area you guys should head into um, within the first hour of playing. And it is getting yourselves into a couple of games of squad battles. I think three games in total. Um... I, the, the first one, play against the, uh, the the whatever, featured squad. Play against the featured squad. Uh, and you can do that literally on beginner if you want. I would recommend it just simply because you'll see the team in a minute. It's a lot better than mine. Um, 
But if you're trying to get these, these FC Founder objectives done, make sure you wear the FC Founder home kit that you were given at the start of the game because that's how these objectives get completed. I mean, look at this guy. Absolute sweat with his crazy team to begin with. I mean, it's beginner AI. It's a featured squad. Probably someone like Haaland has chosen this squad or something. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let it go. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously this is a super easy uh, a super easy match because you're on just literally beginner. Uh, and even Chuck Wazy could score. I think that was on the two-star weak foot. I end up winning 15-0. Have that. Have that. Um, Haaland and Van Dijk and all of those players that were in that squad. Yeah couldn't even score a goal against me um but yeah we get that done and i'm also now because i know that i've got a couple games of squad battles left to play to get the, the founders objective done i'm gonna do the welcome to evolutions evolution and i'm gonna put my very first packed player oscar into this this new mode essentially so we put him in. He's changed to a green card now. I can no longer, if he was tradable, I can no longer sell Oscar. He's now an Evolutions card. He's become untradable to my club. Yeah, I could put him in an SBC or something, but he is now untradable to my club. Let that be known if you're going to go ahead and, and, and do some Evolutions. You know, don't go out and buy an Mbappe and stick him into an Evolution if there was one available to him, thinking, ah, oh, it's all right. If I don't like it, I'll go ahead and sell him. You can't. Just bear that in mind. But it's a re it's going to be a really great way um, for for players like like myself who want to try out different cards and actually end up evolving lower tier players that you wouldn't normally use into usable players. That's exactly what Evolutions is all about. So uh, I'm sure there'll be a meta like people are talking about Darwin Nunes, Ansu Fati, uh, Dan Juma. Players like that at the moment are like the meta players to put into a certain Evolution because you'll end up getting a really good card at the start of the game. However, I'm an Ipswich Town fan. We have bronze and silver players on this game. I would love, you know, I go to home and away matches every single game. I would love to be able to use some of the players that we've got and make them actually usable on Ultimate Team. And that is what Evolutions is going to do for me. Um, so I'm really excited for this for this mode. Um, now I get my first ever player pick and I take an 83 rated Mbok, uh, it's a it's a female centre back from the French league, and apart from a little bit of a low pace stat, really good defending and physical. Five for eight for a centre back. I'm interested to see if that makes much of a difference. Um, we shall see, but I was happy to get a, an 83 rated player in my pack. She can definitely go into uh, my starting eleven uh, because we've got a couple of um, French league young players. I'm pretty sure at least we will have soon so i get to level five because i got the xp from completing the founders objectives all right and at level five you get this awesome pack an option between an 80 plus times 10 or an 84 times two let me know in the comments which one of those you're gonna pick i chose the 80 times 10 and this is what we got you can probably guess that's an Ed in Jekko, isn't it? Uh, so it's not going to be the best pack in the world. In fact, when I did this on another account for a different video, I ended up getting a 88 rated Spanish female Barcelona centre back, um, which I was really happy with. So I thought maybe I was going to get my first walkout. But hey, I'm happy to wait for that. Leave it a little while. And if we get one, we get one. Um, but I actually, when I went through this pack, there's a great set of little starter players here. There are some players that actually look really quite good and that I will be happy to put in my squad um, for the first couple of episodes whilst we're trying to build up on our team. You know, maybe I won't use Edin Dzeko. He's a little bit slow unless pace doesn't matter. We don't really know yet. But there were a couple of players there which actually look really good and I'm willing to put them into my team. And I think it'll be uh, it'll make my team look pretty cool. So after a couple squad battles games, we leveled up our Oscar to a 79 rated, cool card design, slightly better stats than before. A few plus ones, albeit. It was just the welcome to evolutions um, evolution. So we've got that. And now this is this is essentially how I'm going to end the episode. You know, we've gone through and hit level five on the object uh, on the seasonal objectives. We've opened an 80 times 10. Unfortunately, no walkout, but we still got some pretty good players. I can build this squad after playing for an hour or two. There's some loans in there, but hey, you might as well use them, right? And we've got an evolution done as well. I'm really happy with how we've started here, uh, and I can't wait to 
improve this team, boost it. You know, we need to head on into some online matches, do some more objectives, do some SBCs, all of that type of stuff. Uh, so I will get cracking on with that so that you guys can see that in episode two tomorrow. All right, we're going to go every day with this series and I'm very much looking forward to sharing it with you. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you have enjoyed, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. I'd absolutely love to see the monster target of 25,000 likes hit. That'd be amazing. So thank you in advance for all of that. And hey, let's get loads of comments down below as well. What's a player that you're looking forward to using? I want to know. Um, when are you getting the game? Are you, are you on the game on Ultimate Edition? Have you got to wait till normal launch day till Christmas, let me know. I'm curious. Uh, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, like I said, daily content every single day here uh, on the road to glory. So uh, you want to follow along, click that little notification bell, all of that good stuff. And follow me on social media, Twitter or X as they call it now. Um, I've got a, an account over there and on Instagram and TikTok. So if you want to see some short form content, that's there too. Ladies and gentlemen, I very much look forward to catching you again tomorrow for episode two of The Road to Glory. This has been episode one. Here's to a successful and fun brand new season on FC24. I wish all of you the best of luck and I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.